you want to get started making money online and build your very own e-commerce store from scratch, this is the video for you. I am going to be showing you step by step how you can start your store from scratch using WordPress, add integrations and plugins to optimize your store, list your very own first product, design your very own logo and get your store going live so that you can make your first sale. This is also great if you're wanting to sell services, digital products or even drop shipping. And don't worry, you won't need any coding experience or even be really that tech savvy. Now, I just wanna preface, you might have seen the title to this video. Well, it's not a scam. I'm not going to give you an upsell at the end or do another link to a bigger course to make some money. It's literally just a straight free mini course to help you get started today. No fluff, nothing like that. Let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need is a hosting service. And this is essentially a place where you can store your website. So imagine you have a regular file and you need to put it into a filing cabinet. This is a similar thing just virtually. You need a place in which you can store your own website. So I'm gonna be using hosting and that really is my hosting service of choice. I just personally think um, they're the easiest to use service. They're all in one package that really just simplifies uh, almost everything that you need to get up and running. And so I've actually paired with them in this video, which is kind of crazy because I've never accepted a sponsorship ever. If you follow my channel for a while, I've never taken a sponsorship, but. I genuinely believe that they're literally the best service in my opinion at doing this sort of thing. And so, yeah, I pair with them in this video and we can get to it. So you can actually go to hostinger.com slash Joey. And what they do, that, they'll just basically give you guys a discount, make it a little cheaper for you. And so we, in this case, wanna click hosting and web hosting. And so let's go down and see what they're offering. So you can see they have the single shared hosting, the premium shared hosting, and the business shared hosting. And so they're all relatively cheap as it is anyway. Um, but let's figure out what exactly you need. Um, so just to make it a bit more concise, I do not recommend going for that. Even though you're saving a buck a month, you're like missing out on pretty much so many things you need. For example, a domain, you don't get a credit, you don't get so many other things that you would need to set up your account anyway. So I personally think that just like the medium option and the most popular option here is the best scenario. Um, you can go business, but if you're a beginner, I just wouldn't recommend it. I don't think you get the value out of it. So I think this is the best value. Um, just to go through what they offer, um, you know, see you can get do 100 different websites, you have 100 gig of storage, you have free SSL, which is really important. That's basically security for your website. It gives your clients or or people come to your website, a peace of mind knowing that their information is secure. And you also, a big thing is that you get a free domain. And so that's kind of crazy if you think about that sort of money to get a free domain and SSL thrown in. You also get a Google Ads credit, which might be worth it, depending if you're gonna do advertising down the road, which I assume at some point you will. And just there's just literally so many different features and probably a lot of that doesn't make sense to you and you don't need to really worry about it, but just know they're pretty good. It doesn't include things like weekly backups, but you can add that on later, which I'll show you. But yeah, I would probably go for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the premium shared hosting. And again, next thing, it'll show you how long you wanna sign up for. Um, do not sign up for this one month because you won't get that free domain, which you want. And see, there's a setup fee. You can increase it and go up. So obviously, uh, the longer that you sign up for, the more money you're gonna save in the long run. Um, if you're not very sure about this thing, I would just suggest going for the 12 month. If you have a good idea and you don't mind spending $2.78 a month. Um, you can see that you have quite a while before it renews as well. That'd be the best value. In my case, I'm just gonna go for the 12 month. Works out to $2.78 a month, which is absolutely insane. And that is because I also have my coupon code, Joey, in there. So you can type that in, save yourself some money. So you can see for the whole year, it literally cost me $33, which is absolutely insane. As someone who has literally set up so many websites before um, I have spent way more than this so $33 is kind of crazy so just go ahead and enter in all your details purchase that um, I've already done that so I will get into what it will look like once you get into your own um, profile okay so now we are inside um, hosting as portal you would usually see a, a little icon here saying to set up your free domain in my case I already did 
but it actually got rejected because it was too close to a brand's name that I actually hadn't heard of, which is apparently quite popular, but I haven't heard it. So it, didn't, it got rejected, but I'm going to go ahead and set up a domain here anyway. Um, yours will, again, you can click domains here and you should set up a domain for free. But in my case, I now have to pay because <laughs> my first one got rejected. So depending on what your business is, you can obviously take your time and do your research, trying to figure out what works with the products or the services that you're trying to sell and what makes sense, you know, from a marketing perspective. In my case, um, let's say I'm going to try to sell, I don't know, maybe natural jewelry or something, bracelets or something to that degree that I can find pretty cheap on Alibaba or AliExpress or something like that. So let me stick with a the natural theme and type in something like, I don't know, natural bracelets. And the great thing about this is that I can click search to see if it's available, which I definitely don't think that will be available. But in this case, what I am going to do here, where it says more options, it'll tell me if you want to use any of these other things. Um, definitely don't. You always want to use .com. For you guys, it will be free. But like like I said, again, for me, it's showing up as $9.99. Um, the great thing I like about this as well, you can look at the alternatives and it does suggest different ideas. Um, so you can see natural brace, natural supportlets, and you can go through all of these, which is, I think, a really, really cool feature that they've added to this just because it really helps out like real support lids, one natural bracelets club. That one sounds kind of good, actually, one natural bracelets club. Um, but for this video, and because it's just an example, I'm gonna click natural bracelets online because I know that's available. Um, but please, please do not use online, use .com. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and buy that. And so you can see you sign up for two years, three years, one year, blah, 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 blah. For this video, I'm just doing one year. So now that's set, set up, we can go back and set up our SSL or our security. So I'm gonna click SSL right here. Um, you can see that it's pending setup. So let's go ahead and do that straight away because we wanna get that security done. No active hosting plan found to so da, da, da. You must have active hosting plan. So let's select hosting plan. I'm creating a website for myself. Um, this is a website for local online business. Yeah, that's fine. Or you could have done something else. Um, I'm a beginner. Let's just do I'm a beginner because for the sake of this video, that works out perfectly. And in this case, we want to select WordPress. So let's do that. And so we want to create our own account here. Um, you can skip and start from scratch. Um, I really suggest uh, creating a separate password from the one that you used to sign up just so that you can keep things, um, I guess, a bit more private and a bit more secure. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up a password here. Click continue. And so it gives you like a bunch of different templates. Like if you just want to start off that, you know, it kind of gives you a good idea if you want to give me a public speaker or a relationship coach or a business coaching. So that's kind of idea. You can click on that to give yourself a better idea uh, of what you want to get into. And so like they just have so many templates and that's why I just say it's so, so easy to get started. Like if you're creating, for example, a I don't know, for a client, you have a social media marketing agency and you want to create something for a client, literally local business right there, change it in, change it out so fast. So yeah, wedding invitations, anything you literally can think of, it's here. Um, I can just go to skip. I don't need a template and I can come back to that later if I really want. And so you can see my domain is here, click select, blah, 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 blah. I should blur that out because that has my details. So one thing I did want to mention um, is that with your hosting or account, you can also get professional emails. So if you've ever gone to your website and you need to contact them for whatever reason, you said it says email contact at naturalbracelets.online or whatever like that, um, you can actually set up those professional emails from there. So you don't need to pay an extra from, I don't know, Google or Gmail, or whatever. It's all in this one setup so which is a nice little extra now let's get into actually um, downloading a theme for you and se selecting a template to get started which is honestly really really straightforward so let's get into that right now so let's click back here 
and take a look. And so we just want to go to back to our dashboard. And so they kind of have a simplified version of not going into your own WordPress account, although it's it's a bit too simplified to be honest. So let's just go click edit website here. There is other ways you can do this. For example, you can type in your website name up here exactly like this with the slash w slash admin and log into your account that way if you didn't want to go through hosting every single time. Um, so let's set up the security first you can see here it says not secure and you remember earlier we set up our SSL so that actually still might be pending the setup right now so it does take some time sometimes um, but we can we can go in that right now and double check and set that up just to make sure we have that and so you can see the title of this website is natural bracelets online I'm just gonna simplify it to just natural bracelets because that's really all we need you can do a tagline explain what your website is about so you obviously want to make more time um, the best natural natural bracelets obviously it would actually be way better than that and you would spell everything correctly but that's just an example and so you can see right here our WordPress address all we literally want to do is add an S I know that's simple literally add an S to give it that extra layer of encryption to protect that data so let's just go ahead and save it changes on that Okay, and now you can see that we have that little lock sign up there showing that our uh, website has an extra layer of protection and encryption uh, for the needs of our customers and their data. Now let's go through a few plugins that we're going to want to turn off and I'm going to tell you exactly why. So this is the default plugins that you get. Um, you can turn some off, keep one on. But for this, I'm just going to recommend which ones that you keep on and which ones you turn off. So all in one SEO, you don't really need straight away. And I say you don't need this stuff because you want to uh, maximize the customer's experience. And I find a lot of these can actually slow down uh, the loading and so many other things for um, customers, which may make them click off. Um, all in one WP migration. We don't need that. We'll keep Google Analytics on. Hello Dolly is just the message that <laughs> you get when you uh, start your new website. Uh, hosting a WordPress plugin. We'll keep that. Lightspeed cache. We'll keep that on. Uh, Optimonster. We do not need. And form site. Let's turn that all off. And so we can just go to bulk actions and deactivate all of those. And yep, so that's done. And that's really it. Um, I know this can look a bit daunting, but that's all I would pretty much do um, in terms of, I guess, the general housekeeping before you get it set up with your um, theme and template. So now let's get into actually building your website so that it actually looks like a real website. Um, so the first thing we want to do is click on appearance. So let's go on appearance, click themes. You can see these are like the default three um, themes that you get, but you shouldn't select this because no one does it and it doesn't look good. Um, so click add new at the top here. And so we can search popular themes. And this is, by the way, there's so many themes you can get. You can buy themes on different websites, whatever. You can literally do your research and just type in best themes for online websites and things like that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go with I think Astra, which is the one like everyone really uses, uh, especially for beginners, it's, it's perfect, it's all you need, but you can play around, tinker around and choose which ones look good and fits your website needs. But for the sake of this, I'm gonna go the one that like literally everyone does and that's Astra. Um, go ahead and install that theme to our site and give that a second to load. Okay, so let's click live preview for a second and have a look at what this looks like. And you will see that you get all these different menu and footers and things like that. Obviously your website is not gonna look like this, um, but there's so many things you can change here, but don't get overwhelmed. Let's just go ahead and click activate and publish. And so it is published. Let's just head back out. Okay, so now we have our um, theme downloaded. We can go and select our template for that theme. So you can see there's Astra options there. So we're gonna wanna go to install import a plugin. So let's go ahead and click that and let that activate for a second. Okay, so now it's gonna give you like this like video. You can watch that. It shows you how to start and look through these different things. But let's just go ahead and build your website now. So they give you three different options here to um, build your pages. Um, you can use block editor, but that's, I wouldn't recommend that for beginners. And you can use Beaver Builder, which is also kind of good, I guess. But personally, I would just stick with Elementor. I think I'm pretty sure everyone, unless they're experienced, will stick with Elementor. So let's go ahead and click that. So here is our templates. And so 
you can see just to go through a few you can see there's so many different options so like business if you're setting up a website for an agency or a restaurant or for example if you're an agency yourself and you're trying to set up for a client a real estate client or a restaurant client local businesses personal care beauty fitness salon whatever whatever in this case we're going to go to e-commerce and we want an online shop so i did mention we're going to be doing jewelry as well so let's click jewelry store and see what they have um so let's see which looks nice a lot of these look pretty good i don't want something that's overwhelming i want something that's pretty straightforward so i'm just going to take a second and go through and really see which one i guess matches the uh, aesthetic that we're going for for this product okay so i really like this natural um beauty product store but it is premium so for this video i will not be using that but i also like this simply natural just because we're going for this sort of aesthetic you can see it looks very plain but that's fine we can change a few things around and obviously we're not selling <laughs> plants in this case we'll be selling jewelry you can see this one straight jewelry store here and it, it looks okay again it's premium so if i was really going to build a store i might actually consider buying a premium just because you're going to get that quality you can see this organic store is pretty good as well and it has this very basic like best selling products i know actually a lot of people choose that as their um their i guess default template but i'm not going to go with that for this video um but i quite like this plant shop one as well so i think i am going to go with this plant shop one Okay, now that I've selected my theme, the uh, green store, um, we're going to want to upload a logo. I think the best option personally um, is to use Canva. I know so many people use it just because it makes it so easy. Um, uh, if you want to use my link down below, you can sign up and literally just get a free account. So <laughs> it's a, it's really a no brainer instead of having to pay. Um, so right here, I just type in logo and you can see it literally if I click logo, it will give me some preset options. And again, I'm not gonna spend a massive amount of time just because I'm just trying to show you guys what I want. But if it's jewelry, I'm just trying to go for something kind of aesthetic. And again, with this theme, it's kind of more on the darker side, a little bit green, I guess. You can see they just use green store just straight up. And that's, that's not bad, it looks completely clean. Um, but let's see here, I want something pretty simple. Um, so I could try minimalist and have, take a look at that. So yeah, you can see these are pretty, pretty good um let's take a look that's not bad plantify simple meal those are nice ones but not for what really we're looking for right now music course and so you can see a different few ones down here i could type in beauty um maybe fashion as well um let's see i'm just going to choose something simple to be honest like this uh, for the sake of this video and so you can see it's two initials so I'm just gonna get rid of that and type in B for bracelets get rid of this D and type in natural bracelets can make that even a bit smaller move that out the way a bit and get rid of that and type in natural bracelets and see that and i can do something else there if i really want on the bottom as well but honestly it doesn't matter a massive amount so i'm just going to get rid of it so i could put something there as well but whatever for this video i'm just going to go ahead and download that and i'm just going to head and upload it here and there we go you can see it's uploaded that as my thing now that does not fit whatsoever with the background so we're obviously going to have to go in and change that or at least make that white but obviously this is just to show what you can do um, but yeah, so go ahead and then default colors you can change all the default colors here you can see this is sort of like green vibe but you can change that however you want you see that it changes the boxes there but for this case let's see let's see you see a darker tone there quite like that one actually let's go ahead with the green for now okay and just tell them a bit about yourself okay and you can import all these plugins you know and let that build your website and congratulations your website is now built so let's take a look at our website 
Okay, as you can see, <laughs> that, is, that looks so bad. Um, hopefully you guys make a better one than that and you spend some actual time. But look, you can see it's pretty simple. Like if you were sound plants, you'd already be done. But in this case, you can see that it's already laid out, which is a great thing because we're going to get into later on actually designing and changing certain elements in this page. But let's get started straight away with adding our own products. So yeah, that's, that's really nice. I'm happy with that. So let's go back and to our dashboard. Okay, and like I said before, we, we picked just the um, version uh, with uh, WordPress, but WooCommerce is already installed. So we just click on Wo uh, WooCommerce right now. And now we've got to add our details. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. What industry we're in, um, health and beauty, home, other fashion apparel, accessories, let's go with that product types. We're going to be selling physical products, but as you can see here, there are great other options. So you can sell su subscription services. So I don't know, for example, maybe you sell, I don't know, the next winner for certain stocks and you have a subscription service that people can sign up and you sell your new, um, your new, uh, I don't know, whatever stock you think is going to pop off or you got downloads. So if you sell like digital products or you make certain graphic designs, you can do downloads, but we're going to sell physical products in this case, or probably even drop ship. We'll see in a second. Um, so physical products, how many products do you plan to display? Let's say one to 10 for now. Um, no, I am not selling somewhere else. Any recommended features? Sure. Let's go with that. And like I said, again, guys, you might be like, hey, Joey, this doesn't look professional. The intention of this video is just to get you up and started. I really, really want to encourage you guys and just show you how easy it is. Literally, you can do it in 30 minutes, get your site, just get your site started, um, get your products on there, and then you can worry about making it look professional. I promise you, like once you actually get the ball rolling and you get that motivation, um, it becomes so much easier. I think the whole thing is that we get overwhelmed and think, oh no, we can't get it looking professional, so why even bother? Trust me, once you get started and you get the ball rolling, it, go, it gets so much easier from there. And so let's go and continue with my active theme. Okay, so you can see there's a less, list of other things to do here. You can set up your tags, your shipping, your marketing tools, and personalize your store. They say it takes about one minute. It does <laughs> take a bit longer than that. Um, but it's still relatively straightforward, but I want to show you how to get products on your page So obviously click products all products and let's take a look and so it would already auto populated from the um, uh, Template so we can see that they're selling this single prong weeder for 1190 We don't want any of that. So just get rid of all that tick up there bulk actions move to trash We do not want any of that And apply obviously Okay, so now we have zero product in store. So let's click add new. Okay, product name. And so now I'm gonna go head over to AliExpress. So in this case, we're gonna be doing the classic old drop shipping. Um, you can obviously, if you have physical products, you can put that in there. If you have digital products, it doesn't matter what it is, you can put it in there. If you have a wholesaler, same thing. But in this case, I'm just gonna go with the drop shipping method. And we're gonna look for, guess what? Natural bracelets. All right, let's see what comes up. I have a feeling I know what I'm gonna see, yep. And now these things, if you guys are familiar with drop shipping, these things were super popular like two, three years ago, especially these chakra bracelets. Man, people were making absolute killings with these chakra bracelets a few years ago. I remember I would see them everywhere and everyone selling courses and guess what? People would always sell these ones with the different planets and the astrology signs and everything. But let's, let's go, actually, you know what? Let's go for an homage and go to this classic old drop shipping product you can see it's one is actually one cent per product which is actually kind of crazy um obviously it won't be one cent when you get to check out um it's got good ratings and everything like that obviously this is not a tutorial how to find the winning product i can make a video on that separately for you guys like just let me know in the description but for this case we're going to take this and all we really have to do is pretty much save these images and copy this over so first i'm going to take this title and obviously we're not gonna use it like that because that just kind of sounds terrible. They just put it in for keywords to rank on their page. So let's see, let's put, wow, that's that's quite a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and change a few things right here. My mic is right in front of my arms. So let's just get rid of that completely because that's just too much. Natural seven ring chakra healing bracelet 
Even that might be a bit long, to be honest. Let's just get rid of that, actually. Let's do a chakra healing bracelet. Let's go. And so we can copy the description. Obviously, you don't want to copy it directly just because sometimes it's like broken English. But like for this case, I'm just going to go ahead. Super simple. Copy it over. Like that. And you can see that a lot of this is just like way, way too much. So let's get rid of this. Different occasions. We don't need that. And product description, you can see it's a bracelet, made of bracelet, natural stones. And so let's get rid of this. Love a gift. Um, drop shipping, hot seven. So yeah, the description for this kind of sucks. Other descriptions for other products will be better, but I would literally just write up a description that accurately displays what you're selling without sounding absolutely ridiculous. And that's why you shouldn't just copy and paste and put it in because otherwise a customer will read drop shipping, hot seven chakra life tree braces and they will just know, lose all confidence in you pretty much and you'll be done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save a few of these images so we can use it on our website. Um, let's see, and they have a pretty good images honestly for this bracelet and you can see that it says var different variations. Obviously, we want to change this and make this sound really good. I think they're trying to say <laughs> energy with this, not whatever that is. Um, obviously, you want to change it so that it sounds better, so that when you read it, you actually have confidence in the product rather than it looking like some random product that, you know, that sounds like you're going to get ripped off pretty much. But here, you can change the permalinks as well if you really want to so that it looks more natural. You can add media, so you can add pictures, which I 100% recommend add pictures into this as well. You can add a contact form, whatever. This It's just so customizable. There's so many things you can do. It. Again, if you want to see me do this like from scratch, like adding a product specifically and customizing like a winning attractive listing, just let me know in the description. Um, and so here we can see shipping and things like that. No shipping class, you haven't added anything, but you know, you can add your own shipping in there. Um, you can say how many, you can do even use your own SKUs, it doesn't really matter. And you can see the price here and a sale price. And what that means is that it'll show basically that, oh, this product used to cost 19, 99 but now it's on sale for you know what 9.99 and so it will just appear as it's been like scratched out and now it's actually on sale and that's just another you know one of those other things that kind of just uh reels you into the product and so i think that's about it we need here and so we want to set a product image as well i don't know why that one cut that off because that is a terrible image Okay, and I just uploaded an image for the product. We can set that as a product image and that is really pixely, but you want a, obviously a really, really good image uh, for that. So you can add all the rest of the images as well. So you can see this product has a really good, like even has a video. I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'd be interested to see what they put as their video. I think it's just probably explaining it or showing it, but they have loads of different variations. Another thing that I wanna briefly touch on is that this has like a million different variations. And so you can actually add different variations into this product. So you can, when they click on do product, they will be able to see, oh, it comes in these colors and these colors and these colors, which is a really, really good thing. So if we had a physical product, I could literally put, oh, our sk the SKU's 100, and we literally have 10 of these items. In this case, we're drop shipping, so we actually have unlimited, so it doesn't really matter unless this product actually goes out of stock. Um, and then, so we don't wanna allow that. And so you can do a low product, threshold as well so you can pretty much say that um in this case we can do 20 and that shows when the product is low um so yeah that's pretty simple there and then you can do shipping you can add in the weight and everything like that and the shipping class the dimensions if you really really want as well again this is all on this product page and i don't want to waste you guys time but just add all that information in there and then below we can add up a product short description so i can literally just take this or I would probably actually write something up that actually makes sense and that makes it more attractive for the buyer so I can literally just say something like about the product and actually write something that would entice you know a potential buyer so and then write something like this is a natural bracelet it will 
show your mood and align with your chakra. So I don't know if that's the real thing, but we're gonna say in this case. Um, and so you would actually obviously write a really good description and that is pretty much it for that. Okay, and then we're gonna go up back up to the top and click publish. Okay, and so this is already here. So now let's check our products. And so you can see, here we go. Here's our chocolate healing bracelet. bracelet. Um, there's a scoop if we actually really had one. We can see we have 10 items in stock and you can see here it was $19.99 and now it is $9.99. So that's a pretty good sale. Um, so yeah, you can do that, click view, have a look at it. Okay, that picture again is horrendous. You would want a good picture. But honestly, like for putting absolutely zero effort in that, to be honest, um, it, it looks pretty good. So, you know, obviously if you put a better, smaller description in here, you can see they got the sale sign there, but it looks pretty professional other than this really sickening picture. Um, and so here we go, there's the description um, and his reviews. And I won't go through it in this video, but you can add extensions that will import reviews from AliExpress. So it will literally take these reviews and you can import it and link it to this product. So it will give that, you know, buyers that sort of consumer confidence and be like, oh, this is actually a really good selling product. Um, just another thing. Again, this is not a demo of how to sell products or anything like that, but just to get started up. Okay, now I just wanted to go through a bit quickly on how we can design a website. So we've, just to recap what we've done, we set up a hosting account. So we have our website placed there. We've open up a new domain so we have our website there now we've done our housekeeping we've got rid of plugins that we didn't need uh, we've added security and backups um, and now we have gone ahead cleared our products and added our first product albeit with this horrible picture um, but yeah now let's get into actually changing the website so that we can make it look a little better all right so let's go up here and click pages or pages and this will show you every single page that we have so you can see the about page so you can write about your business you know what your mission statement is whatever you can see the cart page check out contact details home my account page privacy policy um, so many different things for this sake let's get started with home page and edit with elementor and so now it's going to bring up this home page that we had before and we can literally just go into this and edit this and i love how it's kind of just your build um, and play with it. So you can literally just click on it and change it. So I can literally go in here and type in natural bracelets, very simple like that. And the shop now, I'm gonna leave that there. Welcome to green store. So I can do welcome to natural bracelets. <laughs> a bit redundant, welcome to natural bracelets, natural bracelets. Um, that's what happens when you pick a website called natural bracelets, I guess. Um, let's change that up and do a tagline like, um, find your inner chakra to go with our bracelets. Um, yeah, so here we go, that looks good. And so we can change the styles, we can change the colors if we want, we can change the font. Um, and you can go into motion effects, don't really need that for now. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty straightforward what we want there. I like that, it looks good. And so we can keep going down and see, you can literally edit everything. So I can come in here and see where it says our story. For people who love plants, I can literally change it to, for people who love natural jewelry depending on where you're from that's how you spell it but it's not going to come up because i'm from england um and then yeah you can edit a bit of story um we provide the most natural chakra bracelets on mother earth <laughs> or something like that um and so then you can do read more if you didn't want to do read more you can just literally just get rid of it if you really didn't want it. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And so you can go in here, you can edit the pictures, you can do the length, so you can change this however you really want. I love how easy and flexible it is. And so here you can see what our customers say. So you can add a few little 
um, different, um, I guess, reviews there. And you can see here, there's a gift card option. We can get rid of that if we want. We, we really don't need that. So, um, but yeah, we, we can literally go in here. You can see all these different, I can add videos, I can add images, I can edit text. Um, I can even put a map in. So if you have a physical location, you can literally put a map in there. And so here's a different section. You can add widgets and I literally can do all of so. I honestly wouldn't change much of this. I obviously would change the pictures, but I don't want the gift card, so I'm just literally gonna get rid of that because we don't want that. Um, and so I can come here, take a look at this, and so I can change the layout if I don't want it, or if I can add something. Um, so I can go here and add a section right here, and then let's see what we want. Oh, so I can choose my structure, and then I can choose another image if I want, another heading, or I can really put a video in there. Um, so I can even put a button that would look a bit ridiculous. So I can put a heading if I really want. All I do have to do is drag and drop there and I can type in whatever I want. Check out our products, um, for example. So I can really add whatever I want. Just play around with this, have some fun. Um, if you just mess up, you can always go back. That's what I like to do. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to change everything here. Like you. Before, you could never think of this. You could have to edit code, you know, go in and do this from the back end. And it was oh, it was literally the biggest pain ever. But look, I can just go update that real quickly and let that go. And now we have updated that. And so there's other options. You can get pro options and get, you know, even more fancier with it or whatever like that. So let's go and exit to dashboard. And that is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys found some value in this and really helped you along your journey. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask down below. I try to answer every single question. And again, guys, if I did go a little bit fast for you, just watch it again. Keep watching it till it really sticks in and you get it down. I promise you, once you get it down, it is not that hard and you'll be making money in no time. All right, see you in the next video, guys.